Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Still Heaven. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into your reading. This is going to be a weekly update um, on your energy to see what's coming up for you. So this is for all Sagittarius signs, of course, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome. Um, my name is Soul Vibin, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your support and everything um, that you guys have done for me up until now. With all your sweet comments and likes, I really appreciate you guys so much. So this next week coming up, I do feel like you're going to be feeling the abundance of uh, how much you've worked, okay? So I do feel like you're going to be reaping a lot of rewards and benefits from all the work you've been putting in, all the hard work, everything you've been working on. You're going to see that pay off and you're going to feel um, abundant. You're going to feel like, you know, you have finally worked yourself up to a level in your life where you feel good about yourself, okay? I, I see a lot of confidence around you. I see a lot of prosperity around you. And I just feel like you're going to be feeling really good about the place and situation in which you are in. For some of you, maybe you do have a um, earth sign around you that you're dealing with. We're going to go ahead and get more information on this. But I more so definitely feel like this is more to do with your finances, your money, a lot of prosperity that's coming your way, and things turning for the better and things turning in your favor this week. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I do feel like you're going to be feeling really blessed, really happy, really um, prosperous about what's happened for you. Uh, as I was saying, there's like a, a fortunate turn of events happening for you this week. Maybe a lot of good things are happening for you. A lot of things are going to make you really happy. A lot of good fortune or new, even new beginnings or faded events that are unfolding for you. Um, so you move along the path of good fortune and new job opportunities and just a, a time of feeling uh, really wealthy or even unexpected wealth coming your way. I really love this for you. So let's go ahead and get one more card you guys probably have one of the best readings let's see so i do feel like if you've been through something negative then it's going to be a turning of events where things turn positive and you're going to really appreciate um these positive turn of events in your life because i do feel like if you've been through something negative or something that you know wasn't being reciprocated here with the six of coins or something that wasn't fair to you i do feel like now you're gonna feel very grateful for what life is bringing your way this week or maybe even these next couple of weeks or month up ahead i love this energy for you i do feel like your hard work is definitely paying off because it's like you've you've been investing into something so much and i feel like it's finally going to bloom it's finally going to blossom and you're gonna see that everything was really worth it in the end all right i do feel like you've learned major lessons in your life with the queen of swords here and you've definitely learned to look within and even turn to spirituality or just to yourself to figure out all the answers that you really needed it was really tough i feel like maybe it's still tough for you guys to get through what you're going through but this is what makes you wise and mature so i feel like it's only going to get better from here and it's only going up for me all right guys so here we get perseverance. This is all about staying on the course, staying focused, um, keep doing what you're doing, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a continuing circle. So keep on pushing forward, um, staying focused in what you were doing, okay? Keep putting your energy into what is paying off. And even for some of you guys, people are going to be begging for your energy because it's like, let's say you have like this beautiful um, aura around you and people are going to want your energy now. It's like people who were once, people who you were begging once are now going to beg you or come back around and give you the energy back that you once gave to this pe these people. Um, for some of you, maybe you invested too much energy into people who before maybe were like energetic vampires. I do feel like that's going to be reciprocated to you in some type of way this week that you're, it's going to make you feel like a queen. It's going to make you feel like, okay, I was always worth it. You know, I was always good enough. I was always you know, on top, it's just the fact that I needed to feel that way within myself in order to attract um, the energy that I deserved into my life. So I really love this for you, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get in. What is this? A self care oracle. Self care oracle. So definitely what's meant for you will not miss you. I do want to say that. 
So you get a burning bowl ritual. It is now time to let go of that negative vibes, right? Of the bad luck or even just the past. Let, let events unfold as they are. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first with the Queen of Coins. This is all about self-care, guys. Um, and the Queen of Coins and the Six of Coins both talk about giving yourself as much as you give to others, um, if not even more, because I do feel like you're a very, very giving person. You're a very caring individual. So there is a need for you to also give as much back to yourself. If you're experiencing some type of stomach problems this week, make sure you watch your diet because I feel like you could be experiencing some type of health issues um, within. Okay, that's not for everybody. I'm just saying like, um, watch what you eat this week for sure. But let's see, you also get ground yourself and that's the Queen of Pentacles energy as well. All about staying grounded, all about staying healthy, all about going outside, spending time in nature and making sure you balance out, you know, the time you spend um, on your social media versus the time you spend outside, off your social media or off your phone or even work. You write the work-life balance, make sure you take some time out to take care of yourself away from the busy um emails or phone calls or business meetings and stuff like that so i love that for you let's go ahead and pull out one of these cards what is the energy you're going to be embodying so here we get zebra you're very unique you have a very high quality presence to you okay this is the kind of energy i it's like you walk into the room and people know you're a boss people know that you have something um major to offer them okay this can be physically or this can be just your energy right um this can be even they know that you own a business or they know that you're very wealthy whatever the case is the zebra even if you don't own a business or you're not very wealthy or you're not the best dressed in the room i just feel like your presence your energy is very special very unique um something very unique about you that makes you stand out above the crowd maybe you've never really liked this but i feel like you've learned to embrace your unique side and this is why you're realizing that you are actually very abundant you're very wealthy and you very much deserve all the prosperity and all the money that you've been searching for or wanting. Some of you, maybe you have Capricorn in your chart and that's why the Queen of um, Coins is coming up here. But even if you don't, it's time to embrace that Capricorn quality um, about yourself, which is all about being practical, paying attention to finances, paying attention to your bills, maybe even um, saving some money as well, okay? So, there's a very strong sexual proudness about you as well that attracts others. And it, it does come from your stability and from your nurturing energy. Okay, this makes you very sexually attractive. Um, how sexually, how, sorry, how caring and giving you are. People love this. So just be very careful because you could attract people who are not in for your best interest. So make sure the relationships around you are very are very much being reciprocated and worth investing into. You do have guides and angels and even spirit animals that protect you and warn you at times of different of different situations going on at the moment. So like let's say you are talking on the phone with somebody and let's say this person um, starts to sell you on a product or something and then you all of a sudden see this bug and it catches your eye or your attention. Well, if you look up the animal um, totem of that bug or animal that you just saw while you were on the phone with that person, it'll tell you or give you a warning sign or it'll give you a meaning to why you saw the animal. Maybe the animal is bringing you in a message that maybe you shouldn't be you know, talking to that person on the phone or taking any deals from anybody at the time or even maybe just a, a positive message saying you know, it's a good investment. Whatever the case is for you guys, um, I do feel like you should be paying attention to spirit animals around you and even just the spiritual world in general because I feel like you've reached a level in your life where you're ready to you're ready to turn the next page and the next cycle in your life to bring about more more abundance and more prosperity and that can come from connecting with your spirituality. So you get the cloak. Once again, this is reminding me of the hermit card I just saw, which is right here. <laughs> um I hope that my um my camera is focusing if it's not just disregard it, but I just do feel like with the cloak here, maybe for some of you guys, it's time to spend some time by yourself in order for things to come together perfectly. Like I said, it's all about balance uh, this week. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end your reading there. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading, Sagittarius. I will catch you guys at your next sign. For your other readings, I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.